Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a reading for you, a daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, this reading is going to be about how your person feels about you. Now, this is typically going to be for an Aquarius where there is separation or there was separation. Maybe you guys are kind of easing your way back into talking to one another. Off camera, when I was shuffling or when I was meditating, I heard regeneration. So either it's for you or for your person or it's for the both of you. You know, to regenerate is to grow something new or new life or rebirth, uh, especially in a spiritual sense. So maybe it's you or your person who is going through like a, a rebirth, a regeneration spiritually, growing something new or something new is developing within them. There has been something kind of uh, put into them. So let's see exactly how they feel about you. Uh, what's going on here? So how is, well, did we pray? All right. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message. I think we did. But anyway, two prayers can't hurt, right? So let's see how your person feels about you, Aquarius. How does Aquarius person feel about them? Your person might be all over the place, can't focus, doing stuff twice. Mm. Let's see. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Five of Pentacles. So they feel left out. They feel without you. They feel without... Um, let's see. If we can get this light. All right. Five of Pentacles. So they can feel like um, they've been, they are being ignored. Um, no acknowledgement. They feel like the relationship has been in the dumps for a while like it's it's going to be extremely hard to get out of you know to get the relationship out of this place um they could also feel used in some some fashion like man either you feel used but this is how they feel like they feel like maybe they got used for i don't know they also just feel like, okay, Aquarius is paying me no attention, um, not concerned with me. Uh, they don't like the feeling of being ignored. This might be a person who hasn't really felt this way before, or people just don't not acknowledge them. They feel without too, like, Like maybe you're treating them like they're obsolete is what I heard. Like they're just out of, oh, okay. So maybe this person feels like um, you're done with them and that's why they feel used. And, and then to pile on obsolete. So they feel like you, they feel like they're out of date or, uh, you know, yeah. The relationship is outdated or they're out of date. Like it's over. It's done. You, you've had your time with them. You had your feel with them and now you're over them. You know, how does this person feel about Aquarius? How does this person feel right now that they are not in communication? Justice card. So they could feel it could be done with a Libra. It don't have to be. Um, So maybe a sense of unfair, something being unfair, or they feel like, you know, um, there's an imbalance or, or maybe you made the decision to cut them out, but you didn't take into account of, I don't know, you know, how much they like you or love you. They also feel like, um, maybe they're getting their karma. Now they kind of feel like indebted to you, like a slave to you at this point. And they're waiting for you to decide to come back. 
is what I'm hearing. This person is feeling a real strong pull towards you, towards your energy. How does this person feel? Like they go from, they go for two different polars. Like they go from happy to sad or depressed really quickly when it comes to thinking about you. Like the thoughts are polar opposite from being extremely happy when they think about you to depression. We see that in the five of pentacles. This person, what they feel like this is temporary. Like you're going to come back or the opportunity will present itself. Um, they're having a hard time picking themselves up and getting to a better place. Um, this person could be altogether depressed and feeling left out, um, cast away, you know, uh, again, obsolete, like maybe you're done with them. Like they, they're played out or they're old or outdated or the relationship is. How does this person feel about Aquarius? the emperor so maybe they they could feel as if um you're rigid you're stuck in your ways um you mean what you say you've built yourself a firm foundation you're rooted and grounded to what you believe and also taking action they feel like you're you're going to be unmovable you know unshakable in this energy they feel like maybe you've got some help or some divine help or you're getting help. Yeah. They feel like maybe you, you've you made something out of nothing. And you're having your time of recognition. Of getting either recognition, recognition from your peers. Or just recognition altogether. It's like you're having your time in the sun. You're doing some real... Some real um, high quality work. And it's being recognized. They feel like you are being, you're making decisions and you're making decisions, but they're not like heartfelt decisions. You know, you're not considering your heart or your true desires. They feel like you're focused on yourself, your career. You're not really focused on love with the chariot card. They feel like you've got in control of your emotions and your actions. Or you, yeah, so you've got in control of your reactions. You know. They feel like you're on the path to success because you're focused on business matters or the business of you. They feel like you have a lot of suitors. They feel like you just you're not even giving time to love. Yeah, they feel like right now is your t something about it being your time. I don't know if this person has peeked into your astrological chart or if they're into that. But this person feels like, you know, something trying. I heard a trying. I don't know where the planets are right now in your chart or the Aquarius. Something is trining. So look that up. I don't know. You know, maybe they feel like they could be. You know, they feel like you're um, into astrology, astronomy, and you're taking action or, or the universe is shining bright on you. They feel like you're really smart. You're really intellectual. You could be into extraterrestrial type of things or energy. They feel like you're out of this world. Yeah, judgment card. So they feel like, um, they, of course, they want a second chance. They, they can feel like they want to revive this. They want to relive this. They want to relive the relationship, the partnership, the connection. They want this to come back, come back from the dead. They want you to reach out to them, make the decision to reach out to them fast, quick, and in a hurry. <laughs> They're tired of waiting. They want you to call judgment on this relationship. Is it over or are we starting again?
This person wants, wants you to forgive them, absolve them of all of their wrongdoings. Yeah. This person wants to reconcile with you. They want to communicate how they're thinking, how they're feeling. They feel like you're the one that is getting away or who has gotten away. They understand that in order to keep you, if they get the chance to get you back, they're going to have to do something big. They're going to have to like have a baby, move in together, get married. I don't know. Buy a dog, start a company, a, a business. I don't know. It's like they feel like they have to have something solid and stable with you. For some of you, they could feel like um, some of you, this person is trying to get you pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> this person feels like there's a lot that you're going to be celebrating in the near future, especially around the summertime. They feel like maybe you're dating a lot of people or a lot of people want to date you. They feel like you're on the scene, like the dating scene, the party scene, something about the scene here, or you, you're being seen. People are watching you. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? Let's see. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? What does this person want to say? Okay. Hard. Something is hard. Being in a friend zone is hard also. Them not being able to communicate with you. Um, it took a long time to, you know, establish the relationship, to grow the relationship. And now it's just becoming hard or you're hard or your heart is hardened against them or something about it. You being, you know, it's hard to talk to you. It's hard to get to you. It's hard to say the things that they want to say to you. What is this? What does this person want to say to Aquarius? Complacent. Um, they maybe have become complacent with, um, you know, not putting in a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of devotion, a lot of passion. Maybe they had come complacent with you doing all of the work in the relationship. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? Okay. Yeah, they love your caring nature. They want a healthier relationship with you. They're trying to be healthy. This is what they want to say to you. They see a health or a healthy relationship with you. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? Okay. Broken. Yeah. They feel broken. They feel without. They're trying to save this relationship or this marriage. Or they want to save it. They feel broken without you. Uh, or something is, is off. You have the key to their heart. They want growth with you. African American coming in. It burned it upside down. So it's like, sometimes this card for me, it says dark, you know, maybe, and they're in a dark place with the blue, maybe in in terms of their emotional space, they're in a dark place. They want to come out of that place. They want to come out of not being able to talk to you, to see you. What? else does this person want to say to Aquarius yeah beard is in reverse so it's like maybe they want to come out of lying or holding back or acting like something is when it is not or acting like something is not when it really is they want to tell you something they want to their passions with this being kind of like an orange card they want to express their passions with you yeah, they want to express their fiery nature for you. How they they really want to be with you. With you, you make them soft. Or they feel like they can be themselves with you. Not only is there the love as aspect of the relationship or like the romantic aspect, but there's a friendship. There's a platonic bond that you have that maybe they don't have with other people. They treated you crazy for fear of missing out. And they were in two different 
mindsets about you mixed race someone could be mixed race or this is just more so um somebody was like oh i want to be with the aquarius and then i don't it's just you know double-minded because of fear of missing out missing out on somebody else missing out on the party missing out on anything but with you they see that you're resourceful there's so many facets of you. You have so much to offer. You're maybe sexy, seductive, and you have like this maternal type of vibe. They could want to get you pregnant or you are pregnant. Now they're seeing that you are their sunshine and you are the smart choice and they feel safe with you. What is keeping this person from Aquarius? Let's see. What is the energy? What's keeping this person from Aquarius? What's the energy here? It's like now this person is coming to some determination of how they really feel about you. You know, now that you're gone. They say that, you know, women fall in love in the presence of. And men fall in love in the absence of. So it's like women fall in love with the day-to-day -day activities, being able to talk to the person, see them, be underneath them. The men realize that they're in love when the person is away, when there is space and opportunity and time, you know, so you know, that's what they say. Let's see um, what is going on. Why, why are Aquarius and this person not together? Because this person could have somebody that they're not physically attracted to. So they're not physically attracted to their person, to their partner that they're committed to. So they, they have a partner. Okay. All right. Why is this? Somebody could have contracted an STD or somebody was engaging in risky behavior. Okay. Yeah, somebody just was addicted to love and love relationships. See, they had all these hearts. They had all these different people. Yeah, they're not together because they're a club hopper, a partier, and they were just creating connections all over the place. There could be a secret love child or the relationship was secret. The relationship between Aquarius and their person was secret. Yeah. This is why um, you and this person are not together. So. Why is Aquarius not? Why is Aquarius and this person not together? Okay, let's see. What do the cards have to say for why? Okay. Um, maybe somebody was swayed away by IG fashion model or somebody that looked like they were you know valuable they looked the look but there was nothing behind their look so maybe somebody was going after something that um uh, you know like all that glitters is not gold and then also aquarius they can feel like you guys are not together because you are the ig fashion model you get a lot of attention and maybe you have a lot of different suitors. Maybe there could have been jealous friends or a jealous friend who tore you guys apart. Either one of you is not willing to fix the relationship. We got marriage again. Somebody is saying yes, the other is saying no. Somebody's just not willing to put the investment in and see it working out. Why is Aquarius and this person not together? Okay, Aquarius, um, somebody could be saying that the relationship was too crazy, it was too up and down, it was too hot and cold, it was driving them crazy. Somebody just feels like this is just a bad decision altogether. Or somebody made bad decisions within the relationship. Either they think that you're nuts, Aquarius, or you think that they're nuts. 
somebody wanted to keep the connection as just a, a getaway, you know, um, something that they did in their spare time. They didn't want to make it official. Yeah, somebody just wanted to keep it as a hookup on the weekend. Someone didn't want to put in the investment, the investment, the time. Yeah, like somebody wanted to keep someone as like a side person, a side woman, side man. They were in love with you, but you were the side person or vice versa. Um, so this person is coming to realize how much you, you mean to them, how much the relationship means to them. Why is Aquarius and what is holding Aquarius and this person back? Secret plans to propose marriage. So somebody wants a relationship with you, maybe even marriage with you, but they won't tell you or they won't show up for you for whatever reason. Yeah, it's just like, again, they could be a two different minds about the relationship cross dresser or somebody could be bisexual or just have some different you know um desires that maybe they feel like you you're not going to understand it could be you aquarius could be the other person you and this person could um not be together because somebody is a big flirt like they got hearts for everybody and somebody's materialistic as, as hell, you know, like from the car to the rings, to the jewelry, to the shoes, to everything. Like somebody's really materialistic. It's just not going well for you, you know. Somebody doesn't have the money or they can't keep steady work. Um, somebody also cuts the relationship short. So someone will say, look, I don't want to do this anymore. What is the advice for Aquarius moving forward with this relationship? What is the advice for Aquarius moving forward? Body changes. So some of you are having body changes, especially if you're pregnant. That's what I'm getting. And then some of you are having body changes if you if you need to work out or yeah you need to maybe you have been kind of like in a place of leisure with the retirement card and so maybe you have been doing some overeating just you know kicking your feet up and relaxing so the advice is you know maybe you need to kind of hone in on your body changes also um retirement you need to let something go you may have you may come into a place of not needing to work so hard for something or maybe you'll come into going from full-time work to part-time work wow as i say that new exercise program comes so some of you need to exercise the advice is forgiveness forgive yourself first then forgive the other person you know um forget this could be friend sibling family anybody okay forgiveness grief work go through the grief process it's okay to feel it's okay to be hurt let it sit with you and then process that yeah volunteer some of you need to speak to somebody about what's going on with you, you need to open up you need to volunteer you need to let something rest you've been doing something you know over and over again or you've been putting a lot of time a lot of energy behind something that is possibly not turning out in your favor you need to get some rest also your mind is going a mile a minute even when you're asleep you're still going you need to rest relax recuperate there's a new career on the horizon for some of you and maybe that's why you're doing so much here this career could bring you um, a lot of a uh, yeah wow okay so it could be a hobby that you're going to monetize. Some of you need to get a hobby. Some You need to monetize a hobby. There could be a new career. Um, 
you thought you were going to do this just as like a side thing, but now it, it's coming out as a career for you, a career change, especially with retirement. This talks about a career change also. Some of you need to get a positive outlet, like going from work to home is just not enough. You need to do something else. You need to fill the void with something. Like, especially if you got rid of somebody, if you cut off a relationship, now you need to place that hole with something. You need to do something, you know, because if an idol mind is the devil's playground. So if you don't have anything that you're going to put there, then you're eventually going to, most times, most likely, you're going to go back to that same old person or that same old behavior. So you have to replace. It's like when the... Sometimes you'll find that maybe the drug addicted or the drug addict person will get off of drugs and get into, you know, sobriety, but then they'll like overeat. Yeah. They'll overeat or, um, they'll, you know, uh, they'll kind of, um, replace it with some minor behavior. That's not so great. Either overeating, eating sweets. You'll see that a lot of, a lot of addicts get a sweet tooth they have to have something that feels that hole that void um that those what is that serotonin endorphins i don't know it's like that that good feeling they need it to be stimulated um you'll also see that maybe sometimes people will become sexually promiscuous you know? um so it's just about if if you replace something you need I mean if you get rid of something you need to replace it right or is it going to be a big hole now you can replace it with like spirituality all good things right or you could just really um engage in something that um will fill your time you won't sit and mope this is what I have for you Aquarius um, go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two. It looks like your person is going through regeneration, like they're understanding something um, about you, about the relationship. It has nothing to do with you and you can't rush it along and you can't help them. You just kind of have to let them go through the process. And if they come back to you, then they do. If you're available, then you're available. If you aren't, then you aren't. And you just have to get into a place of acceptance also. Um, for some of you, you, your prayer needs to be, thank you, God, spirit, angels, whatever you believe in for, um, me, um, you know, accepting the things that I cannot control, you know, cause some of you are just wanting to be in control and want to push something forward and you can't, and it's just not going to work in that way. So you need to learn how to accept the things that are out of your control, uh, be, like the wind, be like the water, you know, ride the waves, be like the wind and blow, let things come and go, you know? So it's just like some of you are way too rigid and your person sees you that way also. Like it is either black or it's white with you and they are just not, you know, and they, they know that you're just not, there's very little room for compromise or um, they see you also as very judgy or judgmental you do have keen intellect in terms of judging, but you're still, they still see you as very judgmental. You know, you can make accurate judgment or assumption, but um, maybe it can be without compassion at times, even though you're accurate. So I don't know. Um, your person, this is, this is how they see you. Um, I don't know if they see you changing your mind. They don't know if they could change your mind about them. It's like you made your mind up with this emperor card about them. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.